Hello everyone, welcome to Treasure Chest Tuesday. This is Susan Taylor Shire, Soul Mastery. This is a time for you to be able to receive greater support, wisdom, and a sense of co-creation. I am here to ignite a greater sense of your capacity to co-create with the divine, true divine partnership. And that collaboration is what ignites our sense of being authentic, free to be ourselves, free to be me. When you feel that the whole universe backs you and you can feel that in your heart, then you know that your life has purpose, your life has direction, your life has a sense of meaning. And this is what we all want. Right now, I am aware that so many are feeling a sense of burden. Burden in every level, whether it's the burden of physical challenges, the burden of emotional clamping of the heart, a clamping of your capacity to give expression to spirit and all that you are, or just live and a feeling that there is a burden in the outer circumstances, that this world is carrying so much, it's like being uh, stuck in quicksand. The feeling is I can't get moving for so many. And I understand that. I found myself recently working with a lot in my root chakra and second chakra, which relates to the very core of the place of survival, wanting to be transformed to the brilliance of full aliveness. That is freedom. At this time, near, we've just come out of uh, being in the uh, 4th of July celebration in the United States, and there's always a focus on what is freedom? What is independence? What is that? And the contrast is the sense of limitation and burden that seems to be up for so many in a variety of ways. So how do we get back to that place of feeling free? True independence while being in co-creative collaboration with spirit? Co-interdependence <laughs> instead of independence? So let's touch in about that. You're not becoming independent from something. Get the burden away. Get me out of my life. I feel trapped in my life the way it is. Because then you're gonna to want to escape and go up and out of your body, go up and out of your situation. Get me out of here in some way, shape or form. Yes, I don't like this body. I don't like this situation. I don't even like being an American right now, whatever that is, that is not freedom. That's trying to be independent from something. And true independence is feeling that you are authentically free. It's a sensation, it's a spaciousness, it's a peacefulness in your body. So just take a moment right now and imagine a big fluffy cloud big cloud, the kind you love to look at. It's called what, the cumulus clouds? Clouds? Cumulus? Anyway, whatever your favorite cloud is, <laughs> okay? And now breathe that down into your heart space as though it's filled with that cloud. White, fluffy, no thunderstorms in it, please. Not this time. And then breathe it down into your abdomen. Now you may feel a little spacey in your head, so bring that cloud down beneath, beneath your feet like you're walking on clouds. But you have that cloud with you. Maybe put a little cloud behind your back that you feel held and you can just, ah, lean back into it. That is one vital step in helping you feel that you are free. You are free to just be 
in this spaciousness of something much larger in this moment. And it helps you unlock that sense that you are burdened by what we call life. It's not being burdened by life, it's being burdened by the lack of life, in fact. So I wanna share with you how much freedom, how much light is being brought into the world these days in so many ways. This is a really fun example. So I was on hold the other day. I, was, I called the store to see if they had something and they said, you know, let's put you on hold for a minute, I'll go check. So I'm gonna read the lyrics of a song and I have it written out in uh, the document for you, the email. The lyrics of a song, some of the lyrics, by Megan Trainer. You don't need to know who she is. It's just, wow, isn't this cool? Wouldn't I love to feel this free? So what I want you to do is feel that sensation of the clouds in you, around you. Feel that sense of spaciousness. And then listen to these words and see how they feel that they could be your words too. I'm not gonna try to sing it, by the way. I thank God every day that I woke up feeling this way. And I ha can't help loving myself. If I was you, I'd wanna be me. Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah. That feeling of wanting to be you is freedom. I am free because I wanna be me. And I don't care how anyone else feels. I don't care what's going on in my elbow, whatever that is. I am free to be me. And I thank God every day that I wake up feeling this way. So remember when you first wake up in the morning, maybe just before you go to bed, as certain points of reference to bring those clouds around you, fill yourself with that and allow yourself to ask yourself, what is it that makes me feel free? What is it that allows me to receive freedom, to be independent in collaboration with spirit? Have fun with this, feel the confidence the power and the potency that freedom gives you to move forward in your life without the burdens because they the burdens are just feelings of burden so to your freedom and if you loved the support the wisdom the clarity the lightness of being the joy in your heart that you're feeling now share it with a friend and be sure to look up Soul Mastery, my website. I have books there on your soul and its greatness, its purpose, your passion, your soul reunion. Oh my gosh, manifestation from a soul level. There is so much for you and your soul to claim, to allow you to know that you are free. And check out all that I'll be doing in the upcoming months and let this season flourish within you. Freedom, independence, space, and peacefulness, regardless of what's going on in the our outer, you are recreating your outer, and therefore you are recreating the world, one step of freedom and independence at a time. I'm so with you. So much love.